Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have another Stitch Fix unboxing, my favorite type of subscription box. Um, basically, it's clothes, accessories, jewelry, purses, shoes, it's like everything and it's, like I said, it's my favorite. While you're watching the video, if you decide this is something you want to do, go ahead and use my link down below in the description box. It will waive that $20 styling fee. Also guys, I finally did my hair and my makeup for a video, but I'm still wearing my pajamas. Um, yeah, I figure it's a beauty channel, so I should probably do my hair every once in a great while. Okay, so let's get into this unboxing. Um, also, while you're here, if you like the content, I would love for you to subscribe. And guys, this box is a little bigger than my last box. I think because it's near the end of summer that I might get some fall clothes, maybe some like bulky sweaters. Okay, so this looks to be all clothes, no accessories this time, which is really weird because I always get an accessory item. So, a big pile of clothes here. And in the bottom there is an invoice styling guide and a um, shipping package, free shipping. Whoa, whoa, I see some camo. I never really like camo, but I've been seeing myself like wanting to get into it lately. Definitely some fall colors going on in here. So first thing is a short sleeved, kind of like a faded camo shirt. And I don't know how I feel about this. I think I have to try it on because I never wear camo, but I feel like maybe I could pull it off. Next thing, whoa, this is, what is this? A dress. Hmm. I feel like whenever I get a dress from Stitch Fix, it's always the same type of dress. Like, no details, just um, a floral. I do like the fact it's three-quarter length sleeves. But yeah, I just feel like I don't really get unique dresses from Stitch Fix. Next is... oh. Okay, so here is a dressy top for work. This is actually really cute. I do like that. Definitely like to get some business casual in my boxes because I do have an 8 to 5 job Monday through Friday. Next is... Oh, guys, I'm going to love this. Another three-quarter length shirt. It has a tie at the bottom. Real loose. Oh, yes, I love this. That's like so me. And last, a pair of jeans. I haven't bought jeans from Stitch Fix in a long time. This is by Just USA. I don't think I've ever gotten that brand of jeans before. It looks like a mid waist. Um, there's a little distressing. Not much though. They're pretty basic. And I do already have a pretty basic blue pair of jeans that are about this color. So I will use them to try it on with everything. And yeah, let's read our styling guide. Last fix, my note from Liz was like, I need some ideas of what to get you. Please update your Pinterest board. And did I ever do that? No. So let's see what she has to say. Oh. I'm not, I didn't get Liz. I didn't say I want a different stylist. That's weird. This is from Kelsey. Hi Ashley, happy fix day. I am so happy to be styling you. I think that I have found some pieces you will love for sure. Since fall is around the corner, I thought that you'd use a good and go-to pair of denim jeans to add to your wardrobe. The Just USA jeans are just that. I love the subtle distressed detail on them. Pair the jeans with the Vixby blouse for a work-worthy look. I love how flattering the wrap detail is too. You can't go wrong with the navy and white either. The nine brand dress is stunning. I love how you can pair it with your favorite pair of tights and booties once fall hits. Please let me know how these pieces work for you and if there's anything else you're looking for. Cheers, Kelsey. Okay, let's go try it on. Okay guys, outfit number one. I thought this was gonna be another ordinary, just blah floral dress from Stitch Fix, but it's mesmerized me. I can't help it. I freaking love this turquoise color. It's such a pretty color for the fall too. And I can't see, but I have on my boots with this dress and I just think it is really cute. Oh guys, this is so bad. Stitch Fix is like hooking me right now. They're hooking me and reeling me in because I freaking love everything. And I just bought the whole box last month. Okay, this, oh my goodness, 
is so freaking soft and cozy and the colors are good. I just love how it hangs like right here. It looks really good. And these jeans, I wish you guys could see them better. These jeans feel like I am wearing leggings. And honestly, when I pulled the jeans out of the box, I'm like, these look way too small. I'm going to feel really fat. But they actually fit and that makes me really happy. And, and I, okay, so I do have that pair of blue jeans that I already own from Stitch Fix. But I bought them honestly like a year and a half ago. And I feel like I deserve maybe a new pair of jeans. It's all going to depend on how much everything is. Okay, I'm like talking way too much. Here's a close-up of this. Here is the next look, this dressy shirt. <sighs> um, okay, so I was feeling really good about this, but then I showed Jeff and he said he's unsure about it. I always show my husband everything as I get it, like in between filming, and he's loved the first two looks, but he thinks this one's okay. And I actually feel like really good about this. Like I feel like, that was my cat. I feel like it's actually like mature and flirty and pretty, like not flirty, more like feminine like I just feel like like I'm getting down to business you know um it could just be because I'm looking at myself and my hair is done for once in my life so I feel like I'm already looking better than I normally do but what do you guys think about this shirt okay guys a last look I honestly love this I've been so into like simple t-shirts lately and like I said I wanted to try some camouflage I feel like this isn't too like overbearing camo <sighs> My husband just told me not to spend too much. This is gonna be a bad one. Yes, I love it. So guys, I'm really gonna need your input on this box, I have a feeling, because I literally could keep everything right now, so it's really gonna come down to the prices. And I feel like my stylist that I usually have, Liz, is really like price conscious for me. So now that I have a new stylist, I'm not sure that these are gonna be as affordable as my box normally is. So, I guess we'll just hope for the best. Sorry, I know I'm like so ghetto tonight. This is okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. The first item is the Beverly Hockey Shift Dress by Nine Britain right here okay Ugh, okay Ugh. I like this but it wasn't one of my favorite items and that's like hard to even say because I really like this a lot this was $48 and that's not bad for a dress at all I can wear this casually it's an option for work so I'm undecided on the teal dress right now the next are these Rhea Distressed Skinny Jeans by Just USA. Guys, these are only $58. Actually, like in my normal shopping life, that's actually expensive for a pair of jeans, but that's probably the cheapest price jeans I've ever got from Stitch Fix before. So I actually feel like the stylist is like knocking it out of the park right now with prices, with my style. I might have to say goodbye to Liz. Okay, so yes, $58. These were so ridiculously comfortable. These might be my new go-to jeans. Again, undecided. Next is this dress, or no, this shirt that's like all like opened and like I need to put back together. This is the Jilly Wrap Blouse by Vixby and it is $44. A little more pricey, but it is a, you know, nicer shirt than the rest of the items. Like, more detailed. I'd wear it to work. Next is the Denver Front Twist. And it's not finishing yet. Let's see. The Denver Front Twist Brush Knit Top. This is $38. I feel like that is a very good price. Lastly is the Alba V-neck Burnout Knit Top by Nine Britain. This is also $38. So all in all, everything together is $226. I know that sounds like a lot, but if we buy it all, we get a $56 discount, which drops the total to $169. Minus our $20 styling fee would put everything at $149. I think I just spent like 
I think my last Stitch Fix was like 140 for everything. So literally just last month I spent $140 on clothes. And guys, that's not my lifestyle right now. I mean, like, Jeff and I are doing, like, well and everything, but I can't be putting a bunch of money towards clothes when I have a lot of house projects I want to do. So I really should pick, like, a top, like, top two items in the box. It might even be top three. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards all the casual items. The jeans, the camo is just so fun for the fall. I've been wanting camo. This fits me so well. I feel like the item that I could easily, most easily let go of is the dress. I think it looks really nice, but I do have a lot of floral dresses right now. I really need work shirts, but I'd rather have fun clothes than work clothes, but this looks really nice. Like I said, I really need you guys' help on this one. Let me know which ones I should keep. I'd appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye!